everybody, this is Praxis, and this is where I'm keeping the lumber that we have left from construction and everything, and also the scrap. Here's one big pile of uh, just all these sticks. There's just like edges that are cut off of things. There's all these little short pieces. There's more of it over here. The stuff in this bin uh, over to your, uh, your left down there, that's probably going to be firewood, though I sometimes kind of pick through that. And that's what I want to talk about in this video, is the importance of kind of keeping a lot of your scrap wood. Now, it's great to kind of get a place tidied up, and scrap wood can always be used as, uh, you know, fuel for wood burning. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you, if you can manage to keep some of it around, it's really quite useful, and I've been using a lot of it today. We're working up on the back over here, which I'm going to bring you up over here to check it out. And I've been able to save quite a bit of wood by, uh, you know, using up uh, the scrap. So this is some of the... Uh, the stuff that was uh, down in the greenhouse over there, just long pieces, and this is going to be used for trim around the inside of, uh, of these window areas. Now this one I haven't really started yet. I have worked on this one over here, and that's what we're going we're gonna to check out. And, uh, you know, just having this kind of stuff, um, you know, it saves you from having to buy lumber. And lumber, you know, it's fairly expensive, and it's just nice to be able to use this stuff up as, uh, you know, as actual material. So I'm going to kind of float you in here, as you can see. We've got all of these boards are all in place here and it's these pieces of trim right here that uh, I was making out of all that that scrap material. I've got one more piece to put in uh, just on the, the bottom edge over here. Uh, there's a little spot, I'll lower you down so you can see, there's a little spot where my boards uh, kind of kicked out a little bit. I was sort of yeah, I was kind of following the uh, contour of the outside of the wall, and one of them went in a little crooked, so this kicks out. So I'm going to be using uh, this uh, oscillating saw to kind of... Is that called an oscillating saw? I think so. Uh, to just bite that piece off so I can get the, the trim flush right up against there. So as soon as I get that piece of trim on here, I'm going to take the screen, put it back down, screw it in place. And this place is done until I get the... Uh, the louvered uh, bits put together. I was able to calculate how many louvers I'm going to be having in total. There's going to be one uh, louver every three inches, uh, so that is going to work out where I need about 17 louvers. And from each one of these boards, I can get two louvers, uh, and one will go to one side and one will go to the other side. Not you know exactly that way. I'm sure I'll kind of these will both go over here and whatever. But I, uh, I kind of counted out so each side needs 17 louvers, and I get two louvers out of each of these, so I need 17 of these pieces of scrap board. Uh, these uh, four boards here are going to be the outside boxes around them. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's really coming together. The greenhouses are so much more comfortable now with the airflow going through. The one with the chickens in it doesn't smell at all anymore. It was kind of smelling like a chicken coop for obvious reasons before. Uh, so I, 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 I I'm always going to say it's such an improvement to get these vents in, but it's not an improvement, it's just the house was never finished. Now that I'm getting this stuff finished, it's really making the greenhouses work in the way that they were always intended to work, which is cool air comes in the base, hot air goes out the top, and we'll be able to close these things when we want to really keep all that hot air. Other than that, uh, you know, things here continue to go well. Gardens are doing great. Look at all the, if we get time left on the, this video feed, look at the, uh, the growth on the top of the uh, root cellar fallout shelter thing over here. It's really covered in. Remember this, these were all those blo like blocks of dirt that I kind of moved off and put over here in this area and then put them all back. It really has uh, blossomed into a lot of plants. Not only does it look kind of nice, it's, you know, it's attractive, but at least more so than dirt, and uh, it is also shading the ground, so it's helping to keep the, green, uh, the root cellar uh, you know, as cool as it can possibly be, which this time of year, not that cool, especially after we had like a week of like almost 100 degrees for well, actually, for like two weeks straight. That's it. Thanks for watching.